left school, so at 17, you were playing Perth Colts and you were um, made the state 18s um, yep, team. So what sort of happened from there? Uh, so we had, I guess after the 16s, state 16s carnival, I got put into I can't remember what it's called. It was just like an Australian squad of maybe 30 guys that went to the. You go to is it AIS. AIS, or? yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was it. Sorry, you had so that was maybe a 12 or 18 month program where you were doing periodic camps every few months, and you'd fly to Canberra, stay at the Institute of Sport, and um, learn everything it was to be a professional athlete. So yeah. from a training point of view, diet, all that sort of stuff. Uh, did and you, you had, enjoy that? I did. I loved it. Yeah, it was pretty exciting, and you you're rooming with a whole bunch of your peers that were some of the nation's, I guess, best players at that point of time. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I always thought they were so much better. So it was like an awesome experience for me just to be around them. Um, and then, yeah, after that, came back, you play Colt season, uh, and then you played a bit of senior footy in the back end once we got back from that carnival. And from there, you kind of, I knew I was going to get drafted. You just had you had clubs, you had draft camp, you're talking to clubs and... And so, so at that stage, are you getting a manager? Are, you, are, they, just, yeah. are they just hitting you up on, the, on your mobile randomly? Yeah, or? I can't remember how um, I actually got introduced to them. I feel like it might have been letters to the house. Yeah. Uh, or maybe even a couple of them came through Perth, like through the football yeah. club yeah. itself, and that was the introduction. But yeah, you had... I mean, at the time, I'm trying to think who it was. It was Paul Connors... Um, a company called Stride. I don't know if they're still around. Uh, it was Alex McDonald and Tom Petrora, I think, back in the days. Uh, and then Colin Young. And Colin was probably the first one. Mm -hmm. And I hit it off with him pretty quickly. And yeah, he's he's a lunatic, but he, he will fight for you harder than anyone. He's so loyal. And I just felt really safe with him and knew he'd have my back no matter what. So um, yeah, I just felt really comfortable and signed with him. And yeah. Um, he was great. He was with me the whole way through, and we still, still keep in touch. So. Yeah, nice. Flicking over to a little bit of a change of pace. Yep. You did a bit of work with Movember. Yes. Um, so yep. you were the ambassador there for three years. Is that right? Yeah, I, I did. Just every time the campaign would roll around, um, would get involved and help them, particularly when I was uh, still in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, and so something you're passionate about? It is. Yeah. Uh, I guess over time. Just through my own experience, different pieces, bits and pieces, particularly, I guess, the saga um, that we went through when I was playing at Essendon uh, on the back end of having moved away from home and left family and struggling with form and injury and the rest of it and just feeling quite isolated. There was probably different points along the way where I wasn't feeling so great mm -hmm. um, and struggling and probably wasn't really aware of that um, or why and not knowing how to deal with it and feeling a little bit helpless. Mm -hmm. um, and then you work through that and have a lot of good people help you. Um, you finally reach out for help. Uh, and, and when that comes and suddenly within a couple of sessions, you feel like you're in control again and you know how to solve it and you've got some new tools to move forward and cope, which completely changes your outlook. Yep. So um, I just found it super valuable and I know it took me a long time to f first reach out um, to see someone. and. I just always felt like I wish I had done it earlier. Yeah, to um, give you those tools and correct. to know that yeah. support was actually there. Yeah, exactly. And just problems that are massive in your head, once you start talking through them and have someone to help order your thoughts, because a lot of the time that's what it is. You'll just yeah. be spinning your wheels and going around in circles and it all feels too big. Yeah. Um, but to have someone help you break it down and work through it very quickly, you go, oh, I could, like, this is easy, I can do this. It's actually, mm. and it helps you narrow your focus and then you the next time it crops up, you, you feel like you're ahead of it. So, yeah. so, so then uh, draft day comes, you get picked yep. up number six. Yep. I presume you were crossing the fingers and you're hoping to maybe go to free or West Coast to stay home at that stage, or were you, or were you keen to you know, try new waters and, and, and um, yeah. leave home and go to another state? Uh, look, I wasn't super fast. Like, I, at that point, you'd just go anywhere. Um, I had thought it would be Fremantle just from the discussions I'd had with them and I hadn't spoken with Essendon at all. And then the night before the draft, Adrian Dodoro, who's still list manager, called me and said, uh, well, we're going to be taking you with, with pick six. And I was a bit sort of stunned mullet going, mm. oh, OK, like I was, I was wrapped, but yeah. I was also just, it was a shock to the system. 
So then you so get did Frio and... have pick six, seven? Seven. Yeah, they were the yeah, one yeah, following. Yeah, so they ended up taking uh, Reese Palmer straight yep. after me. Yeah. Um, who was a teammate. We'd had quite a good WA team that year, I think. We had quite a lot of the guys get drafted out of that state side. So, well, so you had like Maston, did you have? Yeah, Nat Nui, was... um, Daniel Rich, Alex Rance. Um, try to think, I'll probably Yaren be offending well. people. Yeah, Chrissy yeah. Yaron, I think Josh Hill, um, Matt DeBoer. He was a smooth mover, Josh, yeah. wasn't he? He was a yeah. smooth mover, yeah. Jaron Jackie, I don't even remember yep, Jaron. Yeah, I think. do. He went to yeah. Adelaide, He I went think. to the Crows, yep. yep. Dangerous um, forward. Dangerous forward, yeah. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be others I'm forgetting. Yeah. We had we had a, just an absolutely stacked uh, team. Did you guys win it that year? Yeah, yeah. They, no one came within sort of 10, 12 goals of us any right. of the games. It was a, that certainly does help when you're, yeah. when you're pushing up for WA yeah. people to get drafted if you're yeah. belting the opposition. Yeah, so we had, I don't know, we would have had maybe 16, 18 guys from the 25 get end up on up. our list, which yeah. is pretty, pretty incredible, impressive. yeah.